Oh, this is Gary Loving, and I'm going to do a techie tip today on Tidy Cal. Tidy Cal is a calendar that I I appreciate so much. It's a one-time payment of $29 from AppSumo. <clears throat> I'll give you the link in the below. The what's so nice about this is other Calendly accounts require a monthly payment. This does not, and it's got some absolutely wonderful scheduling benefits. So let's take a look a bit deeper here. My account. I use it to connect with my website. Just a 15 minute consultation takes me to my scheduling page, which allows them to pick up. And I also have several other um, timing in different increments. So let's take a look at how this is done. I have booking types. 15 minute, 25 minute, 60 minute. This one is paid for clients that um, agree to come on and I'll teach them something. A 60 minute consultation where I, this is my free link that I give to people. What's nice about these is you copy the link and use it. I put it into a um, simple click tracker so that I can know where, who's bidding, clicked and what, what's not getting scheduled. I can delete it, I can clone it, I can edit it at any time. I can embed it on my website. So there's a link to do that. I can copy the code. So let's talk a bit about why this is very helpful. You can create new bookings. Import booking types. If you have Calendly, it'll it let you import them. If you've already used one and you're going from a paid um, monthly paying account down to this one, you can view your booking page. So let's first, let's look at what they see. This is the first link if they were to look at all of them, if you were giving them a link to just one, they'd only see the one option, which is what we saw earlier on this page. Yes. So you see the 15 minute conversations and they could choose the date. Once they choose the date, there's the times available. And how do we get those? Well, let's look at this. My account is linked to my um, Gmail account. So that's integrations. You have the option for Google accounts, Office 365 accounts, Apple accounts, and um, with an API possibility, you probably could connect it to others. I have not tried that. This is my Gmail account, my main Gmail account, because that's the main calendar that I use. These are all the other options on that calendar that I could connect it to so that um, but I don't need those because none of those involve a client. Um, my, my client time is still available. I'm going to connect it to Zoom. You can import from Calendly. I connect my payments to my PayPal account. Um, automations are further with Zapier. You can make this integrate with other accounts and email. There's an API key for this to make it more if you're a developer and want to make it more um, comprehensive for you. So let's go back to booking types. Create a new booking is relatively easy. You just click on this, give it a title. Now you may have noticed on my booking types here, I made one searchable with keywords because there is, <clears throat> excuse me, a directory that can be used where others can promote your link for you. So that's I did that title. It depends on whether you want it to be private or you just are the only one using it. When I put in the name of it, it gives me a URL. Now again, I use Simple Click Tracker, which is a P app. There's also one like um, Rebrandly and others that are possible to rebrand it and put it with your own domain name. Write the description here. The description is what you see is what you get. So you can customize that uh, group bookings. I can have people, a number of people in the booking. So if you wanted to do a webinar, you could do it that way. Location, I put in my Zoom link. It can be a physical address. It can be a phone number and no, no location. They're just booking it. So this is a static link. I would put in my own um, Zoom personal meeting link there. Duration, you can set the time if there's as many minutes as you want. I chose 15. It can be less than that. 
minimum meeting padding means the break in between. If you want 15 minutes in between, if you want five minutes in between, we'll get there. How far up the 60 days? I figure if they need a series, they can book for out for 60 days. Bookers can't schedule within two hours. I like 24 hours just because it gives me a day to plan my calendar. Booking limits. Um, if, if they can book as many as they want. Or I can book as many as I want. Here's where you set your calendar. Sundays I'm unavailable. Saturdays I'm unavailable. Mondays you'd set your time limit. Um, if you want the full day where they're available. Again, this coordinates with your calendar. So... Um, it will not show times available if you have something scheduled on your calendar. You can add a window if you want to do lunch times in there. Leave several hours within the day that are not available. So it allows you to customize the scheduling according to what you posted on your calendar. So if I've got this full calendar, it'll only show the times available that I've booked within the 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. hours. So let's see what else here. New email reminders. There's a default one that goes out. You can also write a custom one. This is the way that you deliver it. And you can have reminders booked one hour before booking, 24 hours before booking, and Tidy Cal will send those out for you, which is so handy. Confirmation redirect URL. So if there's a way you want to, uh, once they confirm that you take them to another page, another upsell, a, a landing page, okay, you can charge for the booking. That's where I set your pricing. You can make it private where this link is not posted on your page. Only get one that's given out to very personal people, you know, the, the personal connections. Here's where you choose to have it displayed in the directory or not. And if you are displaying it in the directory, you need to put in a, ca a category. So that um, it's a keyword type thing that helps people find type. You know, if I'm looking for a WordPress manager, I can find it. So then you create the booking account. So it's that easy to set them up. And if you need to come in and edit them, there's the option to edit them. So that's your create a new booking type. If I had any bookings, they would show here on my bookings. So I can go in and I can check, oh, oh, I've got this one coming up. I need to do that one. And I can view up or not. Okay. I can view them or I can export them. It lists the contacts, the people that have been on here. I'm going to scoot through that quickly. Integrations. There's the calendars that you can use. Again, we just looked at that page a while ago. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at my profile. It has you set up your profile with an image. That goes into your signature, your name, and your time, so that if your time converts to their time. Time format every 12 hours, US dollars, so you set up the specifics there. You can tell, say what color you want it. Um, okay, so let's look at the directory just briefly. So these people have chosen to have their sites, their um, booking times limit <laughs> listed. Let's look at the technology one because that's the one. Solar meeting reunion. Okay. So you don't have to tick that box. This is just a, a, an option. So here, as you'll see on the upper navigation, there's a create a booking page. So this is a new booking type. But what I want to do is look at, we've already got the booking types. Import booking, view your booking page. Here's the page again. So this is um, what it looks like for you. If I wanted to, oh, I could edit those. But you could also give them this general link to book a meeting. If you don't, if you want a, a, them to be able to choose the type of meeting, I have done the limited ones where I uh, post my uh, 15 minute ones. For consultation and then I'll send um, the link to the other ones that's not supposed to be crossed out did it say it right well apparently it is I have to go fix that it's not saving but there that's the one that we did that takes me to my 15 minute consultation page to make a booking 
So that's what, uh -huh, there we go. That's what you're up for with Tidy Cal. And I cannot recommend it highly enough. It is just saving me tons of money, saving me tons of time, and getting people booked. So when I click on a time, it gives me the times available because Fridays I've taken the afternoons off. 22nd, it shows the times available. So it starts at 2 p.m. because I have appointments going on in the morning. The 23rd, 21st, it again starts in the afternoon. So there you go. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, I'd love to chat with you and I'm going to give you the link. This is my affiliate AppSumo link. So if you purchase through my link, I get a little bit of help from that. I appreciate you doing that. Take care.